Today's the big day. Today, not tomorrow. Today, not the day after tomorrow. Today. Brick has already left the house with Theo and the dogs. It is just me left waiting for the movers. Let's get some light in here. Theo must have sensed that we were uh, you know, tense and excited and he didn't want to sleep through the whole night. So it is what it is. We're doing good. Put the TV down. Everything is ready to go. There's so much stuff. So much stuff. You got the dog beds in there yet. The bed in here, all ready for them to take apart. Whew. Theo's room in here. That couch will be fun getting out of here. I want them to take all the heavy stuff. Uh, we have them for four hours, the movers. So I want them to make sure, well, we can get all this stuff out of here. And then plus the heavy stuff from the shop as well. And uh, I have that U-Haul trailer if I need to finish up anything. Uh, apparently, uh, we, we uh, just have them for four hours. They have another job this afternoon, so that's okay. Apparently, they're, cool. they're, they're really fast, so let's see. What a whirlwind of a day. What a whirlwind of a day. The majority of the moving is done. We've got a few more little things to pick up at the house. And, of course, we've got to say our... Uh, our goodbyes to the old house, which won't take very long, let me tell you. <laughs> Quick little see ya. Never again. We got all of our stuff out of here, mostly. The movers were able to pick up all of the heavy stuff for me. Uh, me, my dad, and my father-in-law, we came here later on with the U-Haul trailer, picked up the rest of it. It's still a little bit of a chaotic mess here right now. Organization is approaching. We will be organizing this place soon. There's Old Blue. So I am uh, leaving on Old Blue, uh, with Old Blue on a trip, if they have one available for me, next week. I'm still waiting for our fence guy to come. I have an appointment with him in a few days uh, to measure out the backyard fence at our new place. There's a fence that goes around three quarters of the property. The back section isn't fenced. You'll see why when I show you. Uh, he's coming to give us a quote for that, and, and we'll set up a date next spring of when we can get it done. In the meantime, my dad and I are going to close up that back part just with a cheap plywood fence, four foot plywood fence for now, just to keep the dogs in the yard, just so that we can let them run around and have their fun and not worry about them chasing a bunny into the bush, you know? So the plan for today, uh, unpack everything. So I, 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 I didn't film anything during the actual actual move. This is the next day now. I'm trying not to make this too confusing for the vlog. The move-in was yesterday. Today, our furniture that we ordered for upstairs arrives. And uh, I've just got errands to run, lots of errands to run. So we're here at the shop. I need my charger for my drill. I'm really looking forward to giving this little tour of the home. Oh, it feels... It, it just, it's, it's a feeling that I can't express really. I've never been this excited for a move before because usually like before I met Britt, it was just me. I, I moved many times, it was, oh, I move myself here, move myself there, oh, I get bored over here, I move over there. This isn't moving because we were bored of that place or moving because you know we had to move because of finances. No, this was us actually, well, it was a bit of an upgrade as well. So that feels good. And it was moving to make room for our family and our kid that we have now. That's a factor in our lives that we didn't have before. So we were looking for a place to truly dig in our roots and settle down. And we took our time looking 
And it came around actually a little quicker than we thought because we thought we'd be moving next year if we found something. But the, the perfect place that we fell in love with uh, it's just so happened to pop up and all the stars aligned and we had some help from our family to make it happen, which we're so thankful for. And, uh, and we made it happen, so it does feel really good. So now there's lots of work to do. No time to sit around and chit chat. Old Blue, don't get jealous on me. Don't get jealous. Okay, I'm coming here to visit. How have you been? I miss you. I miss you. Oh, you, you miss me too? What was that? Something fell over. Are you angry? I think Old Blue might be angry. Is that you? You're not angry at me, are you? You're not angry at me. I've I kept you nice and tucked away inside a nice shop. You're doing okay, right? I do need to get a new toque from you because while we were moving stuff over, I lost my toque. It, it'll it'll show up, but uh, I need to grab a different one here. I have them up here. Oh, I got my house hat right here. Dang. Da, 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 da. One second, I'm gonna find it here. Found it. I also gotta bring my shaver home. I need a haircut. Look at this, it's getting out of control. Alright. So, shaver, turn the lights off. Okay, there's that. Now I need my charger. Where's my charger? You're in here, aren't you? There you are. Oh, there you are. Yep, yep there you are. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Why aren't you rolled up properly? Some place is a mess. So much organization is needed. So much. I keep saying that, and I keep meaning it every time I say it. More and more each time. I promise. So, uh, this is all we got left back here of all this. We took that bigger couch to the house. That's going to be our garage couch. Yep. Well, I think that's all I needed. Okay. Now I've got to go buy the lumber needed to build that temporary fence. It's just got to last until like next spring through the winter. So we're just going to make it out of two by fours, two by sixes, and some aspenite plywood or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, uh, we'll throw it all together, make it look half decent, and it'll do its job. It's just got to keep the dogs in the yard through the winter. All right, old blue. Okay, enjoy your vacation. I got work to do. No vacation for me. E.G. Ponner, building center. E.G. Panner, I need five sheets of four by eight aspenite plywood, three eighths. Instructions from my dad, he used to build houses, so I trust him when he says stuff about building stuff. <laughs> I would have built this myself. It's probably gonna look a, a lot better and be a lot stronger now that he's helped me. Thanks, Dad, for your help. I, I, I could have done it myself, just saying, but it probably would have fallen over. Hundred and ten dollars for five sheets of seven sixteenth OSB. I don't buy a lot of OSB. Is that a lot? Maybe what, 22 bucks a sheet? I mean, it doesn't sound too bad to me, but I don't know what regular prices are. Everyone's always talking about how expensive everything is. Was that expensive? I don't know. 110 bucks. And dad's got all the lumber to, uh, for all the, the, the two by sixes, he ended up having enough for the frame. So we can build the frame with the wood he has already. So this is a $110 fence. Not bad, eh? As long as it holds through the winter, we get our money's worth. The fence we're uh, building there, though, the actual fence, uh, it'll probably be closer to between five and $8,000. It's gonna be about, what did I say, about 50 feet? Or about 50 to 60 feet. Uh, six by six posts six foot high wooden fence with a 12 foot rolling gate in the center. 
That's getting done in spring though. And here it is. This is our backyard. Theo's got a little playhouse right over there. And dad's here hard at work already. Oh yeah, let's get it, make it all ready. So we got the fence that goes all the way around the property. Except for right here. Since there's no neighbors behind us, they didn't close off the fence. Because why would they? Now they have a bigger, bigger yard, right? Because we can use that. No one else uses it. They take care of it. But this is where our property line is. And we need to keep our dogs in the yard. So this is where we're going to be building the fence. It's 36 and a half feet from that lower section there to that lower section there. So we're just going to close the rest of that off. And then our fence guy is going to come and finish the rest off in spring and make it matching to that six foot fencing there with those six by sixes. For now, we're just going to close this up the best we can. Yeah, close it up for now. Make it safe. Dogs can play here. Kids can play here. If need be. Yeah, so I'll show you more inside the house a little later. So we've got this nice big deck out behind the house. And then that's what it looks like. That's our view. Much better, right? Nice and quiet. Diesel, you want to come see the yard? Chevy? What? You're going to get stuck. You're going to get stuck. Let me open the door first, Diesel. Come here, guys. You, let me open the door first. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, impatient. There they go. Oh, and we got another one. Okay. Much more space for them to stretch their legs and run around. So they're the reason why we got to close up that back there. That they can't just go taking off. All right, it's a few hours later, or a couple hours later. We've made a lot of progress. Let me show you. Chevy's already out here enjoying the yard. Watching my move. <laughs> you got a yard you can run in again, man. You like it? Dad over there is the jack of all trades. Used to frame houses for a living. So a little four foot wall was nothing for him. Got one more to cut down and seal up over there. And this is just a temporary, nothing fancy. So you can see from that post there, it goes down a little bit as the ground goes down. And that's okay. It does the trick. Dad's even sporting the Trucker Josh vlogs jacket or sweater. And I haven't made these in a long time. Your hood's covering it. <laughs> I don't know if I sell those anymore. I'm going to have to check the store. I do have a store where you can buy stuff like that. It's down below every video. Have you noticed it yet? One more section right there and we're done. And then uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, I just got to figure out, we got a whole bunch of plywood that we're just going to use to plug up the bottom of the fence. Like along the sides here, you can see behind the, the playhouse. You can see there's just a little bit of a gap underneath the fence there. I can't leave it like that because uh, Wiener, he's going to get under there. Uh, he'll be gone. He's chasing, ra chasing rabbits. I'm actually standing in a sandbox right now. Theo has a sandbox. I don't know if he'll use it or not because the dogs will be also using it, but it's there. Let's see. Maybe we'll put a little fence around it with a little gate for Theo to use. So can, the dogs stay out of it so that they don't, you know, pee in it. This is his little playhouse. And on this side, there's a swing set for him. And that beam runs right through. I'll show you. Just go inside here. A little whiteboard here for him to scribble on. The windows. Let me give you a wider angle. There we go. See the swing sets just out there. The vault ceilings. You got that beam coming straight through to there. Sitting up there. 
that'll hold a full grown adult. So you, <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna be swinging on these things too. <laughs> Chevy, what do you think? Do you think this is your house? You can have it too. Sure, you can share it with Theo. I'm sure he won't mind. Mm, pretty nice, eh? Yeah. That was a bonus of the place. Got a little front porch here. <laughs> Covered porch. That was a bonus. That was in the backyard. And that was pretty cool. Got a nice fire pit area back here. That's nicely landscaped with limestone. The grass here. Whoever, the guys who lived here before us were just grass wizards, I guess. I hope I can keep that up. And we got this barn-like shed. It's a little lean-to to cover our firewood. They left us firewood too. Nice. In here, there's just... I put that padlock on for tonight yet. This will be where like the lawnmower and stuff is kept. What's this up here? There we go. Yeah. You'll be able to see better in the morning. I'm gonna do an official house tour. You may have seen it already because I'll probably release it before I show you this video. So if you've already seen the house tour, you've already seen all this. If you haven't seen it yet, Go down to my playlist, go down to my channel, click my name down below, go to my channel, you'll be able to see the, the full house tour. I'm sure it'll be up and done before this video gets released, but I'm not too sure in what order I'm gonna put all the videos this week. We'll see. What do you think, Diesel? Is the backyard big enough for you? Yeah? We got the big guy in front of the TV here. While I'm getting some videos done. Filming this end of day a little bit in the future. Just wanted to wrap it all up here for you because it's been chaos. But uh, yeah, this is the basement. Got the, uh, the couches that we had in our old place down here. We got a new coffee table. Well, not new, but we got a coffee table and end table. And also a matching buffet table over here. That uh, came from Britt's mom's house. Back here, turn on the lights. Oh, I gotta put his uh, light switch cover on there, his Sesame Street light switch cover. It matches all of this. And he's got his playroom back here. Oh, it works out really good, I think. This is where he'll be. Spending a lot of time, I'm sure. I think. Well, I spend a lot of time over here. <laughs> Much better, eh, Diesel? Carpet, that's something different. I've never had carpet in a house before. We're gonna see how this goes with dogs. This traps in a lot of the dust mites and allergens, right? I'm not allergic or anything, but you know, if the carpet gets dirty and dusty, it plugs me up. So we gotta, Stay on top of these, keeping these things clean, I guess. We're planning on getting a robot vacuum that'll keep most of the house clear uh, during the day. And then it's not such a big job at the end of the day, but we'll probably have to vacuum pretty much every day just to keep this, keep this clean. The dogs aren't downstairs all the time. Diesel's a little bit older now. He's having a little bit of a hard time getting up the stairs. I always just give him a little helping hand on the way up, just pushing him. He can do it on his own, but you can tell his, his back hips aren't working like they used to. He's 12 years old now, so uh, is what it is. He can still do it though. And Chevy's down here somewhere too. Chevy, where'd you go? He's probably sitting up here. There he is. Hey, Chev. Is that your spot? So we got that fence all done. Let's uh, let's go take a look at it. You guys wanna? You wanna go upstairs, Chevy? Diesel, you just stay there, okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just be here. Y'all good, Theo? I've <laughs> got his monitor up here. There you go. And I'll 
I'll show you the fence in the back that we got done. There it is. So it'll close up that area just nicely. And today when I'm filming this end of day, uh, the fence guy actually came to measure everything out and give us a, a accurate quote. So he gave us a quote before, but now we can measure it out. We came up with a plan. We're gonna put a nice rolling gate in the back there as well so we can get through there with a the vehicle if we need to. And uh, it's gonna be six feet high. That's just four feet for now, which does the trick. It's kind of nice because it lets us have that view out the back, right? But we're gonna replace it with a six foot fence across the back just to close it up nice. And we're gonna be here forever. And uh, you know, in the future, we'll probably have more dogs. And you know how young dogs are and puppies, four foot fence is not gonna keep them in. And I also want the privacy as well. When I'm playing in the backyard or when my kids are playing in the backyard, I just want total privacy. Uh, so we can just do our own thing and not have to worry about people peering in and oh, whatever. Good fences make good neighbors, right? I got actually really good neighbors on both sides of me. I've met them both already. And I'm very happy, very happy to say that we've got some great neighbors. So that was the only thing I was really worried about because I knew that the house was great, right? I knew I was very happy with the house. I was always, well, what if we got bad neighbors? That would ruin it all, but nope. Turns out they're great people. So that's where we're gonna end today's video, guys. We got the fence installed, we got moved in. Uh, I'm gonna be, oh yeah, we got a new dining room set here. You've probably seen already. Now uh, we got new furniture up here. For this area. We still got to set everything up. I'm gonna film the house tour shortly. You've probably already seen that, but uh, that was filmed the same day I'm filming this end club wrapping everything up. So, you gonna stay up here, Chef? You're good? You're not gonna bark, right? You gonna be good? Okay, I trust you. There's so much more room in here, so nice. Oh. It's like a house on top of another house. I've never had a house with a basement myself. I grew up with a house with a basement, right? My parents' house had a basement. But the houses I've owned since I've moved out, 2006 till now, I've never had a basement. I've just had crawl spaces. Huh, look at this, I got a basement. My very own basement. Well, I share it with my wife and my son and my dogs. But this is my room. This is my office. That's where all the vlogging, the vlog making happens. Vlog making, editing, as some people call it. So I'm gonna sit down right there and wrap this up for you and get it on the internet so you can watch it. So thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I'm gonna get back on the road soon. There's a few more videos uh, about the house here and surrounding the move, and then we'll be back to work. So stay safe out there and remember when you're behind the wheel. Keep your eyes on the road, keep your stick on the ice, and drive safe.